Hi, I'm Dr. Michael O'Malley, Chief of Cardiology and Specialty Care for WellMed. I'd like to talk about what we know today about the risk of transmission of SARS-CoV-2, also known as the coronavirus, and how to slow the spread of infection. Earlier in the outbreak, there was significant concern about viral spread through contact with surfaces and inanimate objects. The most recent CDC update says that while surface contact may be a mode of transmission, the most likely means is through person-to-person -person spread via respiratory droplets. So direct exposure to an infected person is the most likely means of infection. The probability of transmission is based on a number of factors, likely including duration of exposure, proximity, viral concentration of respiratory droplets, and the presence of physical barriers, including masks, face shields, etc. And the risk is dose-dependent, meaning the greater the exposure, the more likely the transmission of infection. As a cardiologist, I often perform procedures that expose me to ionizing radiation. The guiding principle of radiation safety taught to radiologists, cardiologists, and other healthcare workers is called ALARA, which stands for as low as reasonably achievable. It's based on the idea that since the risk of radiation is dose dependent, you should try at all times to reduce your exposure. This is achieved through three protective measures, time, distance, and shielding. These same principles can and should apply to infection safety practices during a pandemic. Whenever possible, limit the time you expose yourself to others, especially in closed spaces. Create distance, preferably at least six feet, between yourself and others. Create a barrier or a shield between your mouth and nose and the mouths and noses of others through the use of masks, plexiglass, etc. You may have heard about the concept of R0, or basic reproductive number. This is an epidemiological metric used to describe the contagiousness of an infection. It's basically a measure of the number of infections likely to occur based on one initial infection. When the R value is greater than one, an infection will continue to spread. When the value is less than one, the outbreak will come to an end. Two studies published recently are important to mention. The first was in The Lancet. This systematic review looked at 172 studies focusing on the transmission of SARS, MERS, and SARS-CoV-2, or the coronavirus. It found that the use of face masks reduced the risk of viral transmission by approximately 65%. The second study was published in the Proceedings of the Royal Society. Using a mathematical model, it showed that if only 75% of all people wore masks that were only 75% effective, the R value would drop below one, effectively ending the pandemic. Remember, the risk of contracting and transmitting an infection is based on probability, and that probability is based on dosage of exposure. Limit your dosage and the dosage of others by paying attention to time, distance, and shielding. We should all be thinking about these protective measures in any social situation. While we can't prevent all infections, we can significantly reduce the risk. That's how we decrease the reproductive number of this virus to less than one and stop the spread of COVID-19 in our communities.